Welcome, I'm Wes, the sewing machine repair guy, and today we are looking at a Sears Kenmore sewing machine. I'm going to do a quick video today and just show you one thing on this sewing machine. This is just like hundreds of other sewing machines in that when you have to wind a bobbin, you have a clutch that you also disengage. So you have to disengage this clutch, you loosen this up so that when the motor turns, it's only turning this bobbin that you would have right here and not also turning the needle. That allows us to go a lot faster and get this bobbin spun up quicker and not put a lot of wear on the rest of the parts that are moving around the machine. In this case, the problem here is that when you tighten this all the way, you'll notice that as I'm turning this, the needle isn't always going up and down. So I'm turning it and the needle is just kind of staying there. You can also move the needle without turning the wheel. So there's something wrong here because this clutch right here is not working properly. So let's get to it. When you're removing this clutch, there's a screw. You don't have to remove the screw the entire way. You just pull it out a little bit and then you should be able to, and if it still hits, pull, that's not enough. So we screw it out a little bit more, still there. Screw it out a little bit more, and there we go. And now this will come off. Yeah, first off, this thing was in there backwards. So when you're putting this together, you have these two little sections right here that point out. Those actually should be touching this piece so they should be touching this piece so when you put this on these two little pieces here are going to be pushing out when you put this on the machine and what I mean by that is you put it on the machine just like this and those two should be pushing out that's how that should go then you can put this piece on and tighten it on. But before we get to that, how does this thing work? Well, if you're looking at this screw that we just loosened in order to get this thing, let's tighten it back up and see how this looks. So we've tightened the screw all the way and you can see that that screw comes out and it's touching that little tab on this washer. And I can turn this and tighten it on the back of the machine till it hits there. That should be the point at which my clutch is now engaged and the whole machine moves when that motor moves. Then when I loosen this, as I loosen this is this is going to unscrew and it's actually going to pull, this is going to move out when I loosen this and there won't be as much pressure on that clutch. So I loosen it and then you only go that far. So there's only a, a turn of about a third of a turn from fully disengaged right here to fully engaged right here. So when you're putting this together, you want to make sure that this is right. So fully disengaged, and then now the machine, you can wind your bobbin, and the needle's not going to move, but that bobbin will. Okay. So let's assemble, see how this works. So now when you go to assemble this, like I said, you want these two little tabs to face away from the machine. So you just put it on there like that. And then I got to make sure that my screw is unscrewed, otherwise it won't go in. So now I want to put this on here and I've got to be careful because I don't, if I hit that washer it's going to come off and then be stuck in between. Now you want it to be good and tight but not like really really tight. So you want it to where you feel it just hit and then tighten this down and we want to see where we're at because there is an adjustment here that we can make in case we're not in the right spot. So. Okay, my difference here from that's disengaged to engaged is about a sixth of a turn, probably not a, quite a third of a turn. 
So that may be okay, we're gonna see. So now I go disengage and I want to run this and I can see that my needle is not moving and this is moving, so that's good because if my no motor, so I'm pulling on the belt right now, my motor is turning, that needle's not moving. And then I tighten it, and now my needle, everything's moving. So this clutch is properly installed and adjusted. But let's say that that didn't work, and it wasn't adjusted right, and I couldn't get it to where it was tight enough. So then I pull this apart, This is a little trick. If you're doing this for the first time, you may not realize that you put it back together wrong. Take this and you just flip it 180 degrees. And now these little tabs are in a different spot. And I put it back together. Tighten it up. Now I can't tighten it because it's touching the tab. So I loosen it up a little bit. That may be the first clue that something's wrong. Because now I do have that full movement, but when I tighten it all the way, I can hold that needle still and, and move this so there's it's not tight enough. So when it hits that tab, it's not tight enough. So that's how I know that this is not installed correctly. And we'll do that adjustment that we just did. Pull this out. Flip this 180 degrees. Put it back together. Tighten it up. And now we can get it nice and tight. So this needle is definitely moving whenever this is moving and loose and the needle stays the same while I can move this. That is a properly adjusted clutch. Thanks for watching. Hey, thanks for watching. Hey, in order for me to continue to bring great videos to you, I need your support. So take a look down in the comments. There's a few things you can do to help out the channel. We have Amazon affiliate links. We have Patreon. Uh, we have other things that you can do to help our channel and just take a look down in the comments below. Thanks a lot.